It was one of the more dramatic images we saw of the riots at Silent Sam this summer. A man captured on camera punching a UNC student. Today, a judge found that man guilty of simple assault. The university is still working to move forward and come up with a permanent plan for Silent Sam. And as CBS 17's Amy Cutler reports, some of that feedback is coming from outside of Chapel Hill. It's been more than two months since a group of protesters took down Silent Sam. For 105 years, that Confederate monument had stood at the doorstep of UNC Chapel Hill. Those actions have prompted a more heated debate about race around campus and beyond. As much discussion, as much deliberative thinking as can go on, the better. Deborah McDowell talked from personal experience. The University of Virginia professor helped the campus move forward after white nationalists and counter pro protesters clashed in Charlottesville back in August of 2017. A 32 year old woman was killed, 19 others injured. McDowell had some harsh words for universities, including UVA. They are fundamentally in the business of image management. So I don't have particularly favorable to say about UVA in this regard. McDowell and associate professor Marcia Chatlin from Georgetown both spoke as part of a panel discussion at UNC. Universities do not crush under the weight of the truth. Rather, they become stronger with their ability to reckon with the harms in the past. UNC's student government will be collecting opinions from students on what should happen to Silent Sam at an event one week from tonight. That'll be held at the Union Auditorium from 6 to 7.30 at night. For more information on that, you can just head to our website, cbs17.com. In Chapel Hill, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.